What's up today, my wonderful people? Thank you all for tuning in for another video. I really appreciate you. Listen, what I want to talk to you about today is the simple question. Well, actually, it's a question. I don't need to talk to you about it. I need to ask you a question, and then I'm going to talk to you about it, all right? The question is, how bad do we really need Jesus, and do we even need Jesus Christ, okay? Do we really need Jesus Christ? Listen, the Bible says in 1 Timothy 2.5 that, for there is one God, all right? There is one God. And there is one mediator that connects God to man, and that's Jesus Christ, okay? So it's telling you there is one God, and there is one mediator that connects God and man, and that's Jesus Christ. So look, pay attention to my hands now. I'm going to show you with my hands, all right? Pay attention. Don't look at my face. Look at my hands. There you go. Good job. For there is one God. All right, so you got God here, and you got man here. This is you. You ain't God, all right? Don't be looking over here. Pay attention to this side, all right? But anyway, let's get back to the video. So keep looking right here. There is one God. Stop looking over here now. I, I see you looking all over the place. But <laughs> stay focused right here, man. All right. There is one God in man, okay? And there is the mediator in between, which is Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is bridging this gap. So guess what? He's connecting you to God. All right. Does that make sense now? So listen, whenever you pray, that's why you always say at the end, in Jesus name, I pray. Because listen, it is Jesus who connects you to God. Now, you may ask yourself a question like, well, I mean, why do I need Jesus, though? He came and he died for you. Listen, Jesus came and died for your sins. He was crucified. He wrote he rose on the third day. Right. He did all of that for you. Even if you was the only person on earth, he still would have came and did it for you. I know you're probably thinking like. But I don't now. If I was the only person on earth, he would have still came for me. You don't know all the crazy stuff I did, man. Let me tell you. Last year I did this. Two weeks ago I did this. Listen, I ain't trying to hear about all them all them crazy things that you did. All right. Listen, everybody is wrong if you want to be real about it. All right. Nobody is perfect. We all need a savior. No matter how bad you have fallen, no matter what you've done, no matter where you come from. It doesn't matter. Jesus Christ died for the sinner. It's in your Bible. He died for the sinner. All right? He ain't just died for a bunch of perfect people around here. You know, ain't nobody walking around thinking that they don't need God. No, we, we need him. And in order for you to be connected to him, God had to make a sacrifice to connect you back with him. All right? But anyway, let's get back to the video. So let's go back to the question. Do you really need Jesus? Of course you do, man. You need him every single second, every hour of the day. And guess what? He gives you the Holy Spirit. All right? Listen, the same power that the same power that rose Jesus from the dead, it lives inside of you. All right? It lives inside of you. You have to know that Jesus Christ, he gives you the Holy Spirit freely. All you have to do is ask him. And then guess what? Once you have it, all you got to do, you got to tap into it, man. In other words, instead of trying to figure out everything on your own, this in the Bible says, lean not on your own, uh, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and, and He will direct your path. So, you ask the Holy Spirit, "What should I do today? Where should I go? Should I do this? Should I do this? Should, should I marry this woman? Should I should I, I work here? Should I build this house? Should I get an apartment? Should I get a new car? Should I get a used car? Should I sell my car? Should I record a YouTube video for my people?" Should I eat some broccoli? No, nah, I'm just playing. Don't be asking Holy Spirit, should you eat broccoli? That's common sense, man. You want to be healthy. Go ahead, chew on you a little bit of broccoli, all right? But anyway, let's get back to the video. I love you all. I'm glad to be back on the videos for you all. Uh, somebody commented on one of my videos. I was laughing about 10 minutes straight. Somebody say, dude, why don't you just show your face? Because you know I was making a lot of black screen videos. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. He must have been a new person to the channel. He must have thought, you know, I was a little, a little camera shot or something. I'm not sure. But uh, I appreciate you commenting, man. I appreciate everybody sharing their feedback. I love you all. I'm glad to be back on these type of videos for you all. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to some more HD videos. It's not an HD video. This is my camera phone. But I do have my vlog camera. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, you know, I just now got back in Texas. So we're going to get back to regularly scheduled program. I love you. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Listen, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that we can... Oh, I thought my video cut off. I'm sorry. Man, my see, my, my phone be tripping. Hold up. Let me hit the button again. I guess we still on. Hit that subscribe button, though. Let me hear you talk fast before my camera cut off on me. 
hit that subscribe button so we can stay connected. I love you all. If you appreciate the video, hit the thumbs up button. It lets me know you appreciate the videos and it gives me feedback on it. I will talk to you tomorrow in the very next video. I love you. You enjoy your week.